Okay, what am I gonna need here? I'm gonna need sponges. Um, do I still? I feel like I never put my sponges away last time, but I don't see them. Ah, there. Okay, sponges. We're gonna need a detail brush, which we have. We're gonna need Simply Peel. Hey, Mino, and hey, Luke. Yes, you are, in fact, I should, I should change my title. I should change my title. Uh, cause we're, we're no longer doing polish testing. We are actually doing a tutorial now. Uh, snowy branches. Are they going to be snowy branches or snow covered branches? I probably should check which is more trending. Sometimes, sometimes I have my crap together and I actually do professional things like that and use like the better, the better search term in my title. Oh. And then, so we'll do, we'll do this today. This being the branches. We'll do the water marble inspired by the branches tomorrow, which will be this water marble, this one, I think I decided to go with. Is that over white? Oh, it's over Janessa. Good thing I left myself a little hint. And then midnight tutorials are the best. It's like a little, like a little bedtime story for you, Mino. And, um, oh, I was going to change my title. That's what I was doing. Uh, day one, snowy branches. I, I kind of like the way snow covered sounds better but i'll have to look and see like i said uh which has better search terms and at some point in this area here i think probably when i export this to youtube i am going to cut it in two pieces so piece one will be all this testing which this is testing for day three and four which is going to be unless i change my mind last minute like a dry brush christmas tree sort of design you can see some of them they're they're hard to necessarily see unless you catch a reflection. We we were having a lot of trouble finding a metallic gold that showed up over the black and that water marbled well. And I'm still not fully completely happy. And then dry brushing is always just tricky. But I feel like we got a good start on it. So that start of the stream will be one archive on YouTube. Disclaimer, YouTube is not an archival service. Keep a copy of anything you upload there on your personal storage of some sort. Don't count on them to keep anything for you. PSA over. Um, and then part two, we'll split off separately, will be the extended tutorial for the branches. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you'd like to see the beginning, go go. Well, actually, if you're, if you're watching the second part, then the beginning part actually won't be up because the second part of this live stream is for, it's all complicated. Testing on one thing, doing another thing. Okay, we've got our brushes. We've got our polishes. We've got, wait, what order? Okay, I wrote myself notes. Okay, Janessa, Snow, Troy is the branches. Julie Harley Lotus. Okay, so I was right. We've got those. We've got all that. We shall momentarily have a nice clean napkin. And then, thank you, Mino. I uh, This was Monday's project. I decided to put in another, they're like a, it's kind of kind of hard to tell. They're like little twists. So it's another protective style while I'm on this this crazy 12 days of Christmas stretch so that I don't have to worry as much about like doing my hair in the morning. Um, okay. So where is it? Is it in here? Okay, I did stick it in here. This is going to be the first tutorial with the new G7. X Mark II. <laughs> it's like a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? 
the the name sounds serious and and this sucker is heavy this sucker is about twice as wide as my previous camera and uh, that's why I don't already have it mounted I think I know what I'm doing um whoa I think I know what I'm doing do we have no I want to set this back to auto I think that that's what I know that I'm doing I'm I'm putting everything on auto and letting this thing figure it out because I do not know enough yet okay we're in 16.9 we're in full HD and there's gonna be some shaking here for you guys as I get this attached onto the hot shoe but it's so it's so heavy I don't want to leave it up here because I do have some problems with it uh, staying level and being a little bit too heavy for this hot shoe adapter that I currently have okay now how am I gonna do there actually that that's not bad at all okay so and it's like everything's just slightly different enough that I have to think about it a little bit more than I did with my old camera so we want to make sure that we're like a good distance here like that should be good and then we want to make sure that this camera is also um come on here camera the one thing I've I've had some it's like when it's in auto mode it doesn't always want to uh auto focus properly but so far it's been doing well when I'm actually recording but it's like when I'm uh, framing stuff up and actually I have to remember it's got that weird that weird feature when I'm framing stuff up it's like oh what you wanted to be over here no um okay let's zoom 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 a little bit closer Like the, the trick is, and I've, I've talked about this with Dr. Crotron too, when he's doing like his gun plus streams is to find where you, your, your hand naturally wants to be, and then make sure that that's where your camera is pointing rather than pointing your camera and then trying to force yourself to put your hand there. 24 nail designs for your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, in 12 tutorials, like the first year, and I've considered doing it again, the first year I did one, two, three, four, five, you know, like each finger was a design, and then I did two full manicures. And then the years since then, um, the two other years since then have both been all full tutorials. And uh, I'm going that route again this year, so. Oh, base, base color. I did this directly on the paper. I don't think I decided on a base color. Probably it would make the most sense for Julie to be the base because we want everything leaning purple. Yeah, we'll do we'll do Julie as the base and then we'll probably do a layer of sesh to help it dry. Then we'll do simply peel. The other nice thing about this is not only do I not have to worry about it turning off after one minute due to mysterious lens errors, my other camera had a limit of only 10 minutes for videos, which most of the time was not a problem, but occasionally it was a problem. And this can do, at least it said, I, I think the memory card I got is compatible with it. It can do, um, where, where is my math? Uh, 30, well, that didn't even require math, 30 minutes each. And I'm just, again, enjoying, like on the webcam, these colors look very grayed out. Some of these are very difficult to tell they're purple. On this camera, like they just look so good. And see, it's weird. It, it focused just fine and then it drops back out of focus. So we'll just have to, if, if I seem extra distracted during the tutorial, that's why is because I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing things properly here. So. Um, do I want to get, it'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, <laughs> it's 
It's like, I want to start using this, but I, at the same time, I feel like nervous to start using it. How bad could it be? If, 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 if all else fails, I could always just crop out the hand cam from the tutorial and edit that or from the live stream and edit that into a tutorial. So, mm. that's so yummy. That's a butterscotch blondie tea, you guys. If you weren't here when I mentioned it earlier. So as usual, I'm just going to start out prepping my poor abused nails. Uh, abused because they're, they're so broken right now with acetone just to make every sure everything is clean and dry. And of course that after testing, I don't have nail polish hanging in there anywhere where it doesn't need to be. And including the underside, cause I do always recommend you wrap your tips. And if your underside is not as clean as the top side, then it's not as effective. And like I was pretty happy with my nails before like my patches started failing and I got like two additional breaks <laughs> for winter. And then it just like abruptly reminded me like, hey, it's winter and your nails are required to suck during winter months. But even sucky nails will be much better with a manicure on. And I think I've managed to at least whip my left hand into a presentable enough shape to be on camera. Oh, and my computer is still like, I, I should look it up. I complain about it during every stream and then I never remember to go look it up. Are you almost done at least? Can I see a, yeah, I, I literally don't know what it's doing. I think I know what it's doing. I think it's doing like a drive check and it takes a shitload of time because it's such a big drive, but I don't understand why, it, unless it just is not really doing it every day. It just is doing it coincidentally damn near every time I stream. Yeah. Oh no, Julia. Yeah. Bleach. I'm sure that can dry stuff out and just freaking winter. Winter sucks. Winter is so just dry. Okay. I had a little bit on my knuckle here. I was cleaning up. Oh, you've turned yourself off. Um, okay, so now is a question. Do you do this like my other camera used to do? Do you remember where you resume to? Oh, good, you do. That's the type of stuff you don't think to look, and I don't know if it even says that sort of thing when you're shopping for cameras, but that's a convenient thing for me when I'm recording tutorials because I I like the consistency of having stuff at a at the same consistent zoom. All right. That should be pretty good. We're a, we're a little bit off because like the webcam is centered and the camera is slightly off centered. So for me to be centered on the camera, I look slightly off center on the webcam, but we should be mostly good here. Okay, where, all right, we've got our base coat. I wish this thing would shut up because I hope it doesn't pick it up. I'm, I'm not so far thrilled with this camera's microphone I felt like it was picking up a lot of camera noise because like as it's going, it is making little like type of type of sounds. Is it like that? If you heard that, like those type of sounds, like as I'm recording, maybe after 12 days of Christmas, I will consider doing something to fix that. Like I have a really good mic for streaming. It It's very microphone-y. <laughs> But I mean, like, it's it's good quality. I feel like it captures my voice well. Um, you know, I can set up filters and stuff on it, too. Maybe after I do 12 Days of Christmas, I will investigate what it would really take to, like, pull an audio track off my stream and then, like, match that up to the clips that I, that I film on my phone or on my phone, on my camera, so that I would get the good camera video and the good stream audio but that's like, I, I already hate editing and that would be like a whole other extra step. I don't know. I'm considering it, but I don't know if it'll happen. Um, I wish there was a way I could just plug the Yeti into my camera, but I mean, it's like, it's a USB microphone and this camera does not have any audio jack for even like a microphone designed for a camera. So 
if I really wanted to do that, probably I would need to upgrade to like a, a beefier camera. And I kind of didn't want to do that. I'm, I'm really pleased so far with this one that I did decide to go with. So, all right, let's get started here. Recording. All right. <clears throat> I want to get actually a little bit closer here. Whoa. And there we go. This, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to replace this hot shoe eventually. It's like when I, when I touch the camera to zoom in or anything, it's just enough pressure to get the hot shoe to, to sag. <clears throat> anyway. Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. My previous camera did record in HD, like as far as like 1080, but it did not do uh, 60 frames per second. So it's kind of weird looking at 60 frames per second video because it's like, I don't feel like the video looked bad before, but this video looks better, but you can't like put your finger on exactly what it is about it that is even different. It's kind of weird to me. And 4K is just like a whole other thing. And in most cases, I don't think it's like super necessary. Like the, the 60 FPS is enough of an upgrade for me at this time. So can I just, will you, no, I'm going to have to, there, that's fine though. I, I kind of miss, and, and you know, maybe there's a way I can do that. This camera is a little bit different than my last one that it has a lot of buttons on it, but it also has a touch screen. So I wonder if I can set it so that the record is just on the touch screen instead of on a button. Cause I feel like that would be easier for me to manage. And I mean, as a slightly nitpicky thing, like my other camera, the touch screen, I could operate with my nail tips. This touch screen absolutely requires a fingertip. So, I mean, personally, I obviously prefer the other way because sometimes it can get real awkward trying to fingertip something when my nails are longer. At this length, it's not that much of a problem. Oop, I spy a piece of nail polish in between my fingers that I need to do something about. All right. Oops, and I'm probably off camera now because thumbs, you know, are awkward. Okay. So, we'll go over the colors next. What do we have here? Julie, Harley, Lotus, um... We'll want to include these in here also. Um, and I guess one, one possible positive of the whole camera breaking situation is that it has made me consider what I'm about to record more than I previously was because I only had like, like I said, like a minute of recording time. And I don't think that's a bad thing to like be a little bit more considerate of what I'm going to say before recording. <clears throat> but it'll be nice to be able to properly record everything I want to record. The last couple, it's like a couple of the spots where the camera decided to cut off was just like, could you pick a worse spot camera? <laughs> so... Okay, if I do whoop, this, you come back awake, come back awake. Hello, 
Thank you, camera. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> Oh, God. The, be, beanie, 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 Beanie. Get out of there, please. Get in your chair. Get in your chair. Good boy. Good boy, handsome. Everybody, please appreciate Beanie's very seasonally appropriate red scarf. <laughs> He loves his little scarves. He's got a little, I've got a little box with his little scarf wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, good boy, Beans. You su you such a handsome boy in your red scarf. I'm just, I keep looking at these colors and I'm like, do I want to go over all the colors together? Do I want to specifically explain what all the colors are while I'm going over the colors? Or do I just want to be like, these are the colors and you, you'll see as we go along. I think I, well, we'll see. And then sometimes I just go, whatever, we'll see what comes out of my mouth. <clears throat> Come on, give me focus. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are from Zoya. For the gradient, we've got Julie, Harley, and Lotus. I'll be using Julie as the base. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. That's that's not cute. <clears throat> I need it later now, so. We are. Yes. Yes. Music gal is so on top of it. Oh, look at though. I don't think you got to see. Uh, Ghetto Fabulous and the Essie. So nice. Music Gal allowed me to find the Essie earlier, you guys, by reminding me <laughs> where I put it. I really like how both of those turned out. Neither one marbled excellent, but they, you know, it, it's a work in progress. We're for the tree. If it stays being a tree, we're definitely going with one of those two because they both just show up so nicely. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can if we can speak a little bit without uh, complete frog in the throat itis. <clears throat> Come on here, focus, please. Thank you. <clears throat> the colors that we're going to be using today are from Zoya. We've got Julie, Harley, and Lotus. These will be the gradient, and Julie will be the base color. For the branches, I'm going to be using Troy. And for the snow, I'll be using Janessa. After I finish my base color, I'll be using Seshvit just to speed up the dry time so I don't sponge that up. And before I start the gradient, I'll be protecting around my nails using Simply Peel. I think that was somewhat understandable. <laughs> and I was a little bit tempted to even just like skip the base color, but you guys know that's ne that never works out. Should always just do your base color. You will be a happier nail artist. And a happier person. And then everybody around you'll be happier. Okay. Enough, uh, enough Bob Ross imitation. I don't know if he's ever said that particularly, but there's very many happy things in his painting. Of course, there's also like an awful lot of abused uh, flora. Like he's always talking about what a rough life the trees have had. How maybe somebody stepped on him when he was just a little tree and. Now it grows a little crooked. It's had a hard life. You know, I never really thought about how hard a life of a tree must be until Bob Ross. <laughs> Oops. Careful. 
wonder if I should do two coats of this for the base. It's it's sheerer than I expected, which does also, though, reinforce my decision to use it as the base color because that would mean that it's going to be the most difficult one to get opaque in a gradient. So, yeah, I think I'll do two coats and then a coat of sesh. Then we'll do some Simply Peeled. Then we'll do some Gradient. Then we'll do some Branches. God, this is going to take forever. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Let me not be a negative, negative Nancy. Oh, I'm, I forgot to stop recording. I need to remedy that. In just a minute here. I guess I've already gotten used to my, my camera automatically turning itself off after a minute, so now I have to actually worry about stop and get myself so we'll give that we'll give that just a minute to set and we'll slap on another coat <clears throat> man that's that's so rude though musical even even if the, i mean i'm assuming they're more than like two minutes late <laughs> if you've uh given in and, and brought up my stream but like 99.9 percent .9 of people have cell phones so it's not that hard to you know reschedule or call and be like you know Excuse me. Can't make this appointment. Instead of just being like willfully late or actually no call, no show. I'm also, as I'm moving my hands around here, it's not just completely for you guys' benefit. I'm also just like testing the focus and stuff on this camera. It's kind of weird. Because like I said, it, it doesn't have a problem focusing when I'm recording. But when it's just, you know, in like viewer mode or whatever... Even if I, even if I manually focus, well, not manually focus, because this does have like manual focus, which is something I've never had on a camera before and I haven't messed with it all yet. Yeah, well, and that's, oh, super rainy. Yeah, some people treat rain like it might as well be snow. Some, some places it's as bad as snow, because I mean, rain can screw over the roads by making them all like, if it hasn't rained for a long time and there's like oil and stuff on the roads and then it rains and then the oil makes everything all slippery. Uh, but also like if you show up that late into a 30 minute appointment, like you done missed basically half your appointment, but, um, the, <coughs> I, I, I don't know the, the focus is weird. As long as it records well, I guess I don't really have a problem with it, but I don't understand why like in between recording it's like it recognizes my hands are moving around there's like little boxes and stuff moving around on the screen but it's not in focus mm. so cal yeah 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 <laughs> anywhere in california pretty much seems like they would they don't know anything about how to deal with rain because it's just so rare all right let's get this the second coat on here Oh yeah, that's actually makes a huge difference. Don't you guys think? Like it's gone from sheer to almost fully opaque. I would have expected it to need three coats to get this opaque. Now I wonder if a second coat even was necessary. Oh well, it's not, uh, it's not like a bad thing, but I do, it's like, uh, it's very tempting to cut corners on a manicure I know I'll only have on for a day or so. I mean, I don't usually wear my manicures a long time, but I usually at least wear them several days. And in this case, when I know, of course, I'll have, I'll have the peelies to remember it by forever. So there's that. <clears throat> I can think of two things that I have seen that might be the string painting that you're talking about, Mino. Like I've seen where you dip a string in polish, well not necessarily polish, but like paint, and then like stretch it taut and use it to create lines. I've also seen a thing, and I think I saw it done with like ink, where you, you take a string and you kind of soak it in the ink and then the one I saw, they put it like between, they laid it down in like a, like a squiggly 
pattern on paper, like in a, in a notebook, and then they closed it, and then they pulled it out, like from the bottom. They like closed it with and kept, like kept it smushed closed, but then like pulled it out from the bottom, and it created like a a really cool design. Like I'm trying to even think how to describe. You know, it didn't just leave the string design behind. It, like, pulled all these cool colors down from where the string was smooshed in there. Yes. In fact, Musical, somewhere, somewhere in this disaster of stuff, of nail stuff, I have a set of flossers that I bought at the dollar store with that intention in mind. Um, that didn't happen. <coughs> no, that hasn't happened yet. But the thing is, last time I thought about doing it, I couldn't find the, the flossers, so I don't know when it will ever happen. But the, the the other one, like in between the pages, like that actually might be doable, like with a with a miracle mat or like with the miracle mat and something on top of it, and like yeah, do it as a decal or something. Or maybe there's like a third thing, and I'm I'm going down totally the wrong track here. But that's what's that's what comes to mind so amethyst hello no i decided to just go right into the doing this tutorial and we're just getting started here we just got our base color on so you did miss a little bit of the testing well i mean there's there's more testing to come this the testing we did today was not as fully productive as the testing we did for the for the branches like i don't feel like i'm I'm ready to do that design next time I sit down. I feel like it needs more testing. But yeah, we've got all this to go. I think it's dry enough for me to add the sesh of eat. Hmm. There we go. It's It's always blurry when I turn it on, but as long as I'm just aware of it, I think it should be fine. And this is just to speed up the drawing. If you if you skip this step, it's not the end of the world, but you really have to be patient and make sure that your base color is dry before you start sponging. Or you will start to sponge up your base color and leave little uh, bald patches. Usually like right on the top, the highest... Uh, you know, your nails are curved right on the top, highest part. Um, so uh, the last several times I've done gradients, I've forced myself to do this step if I'm using a base color, and I have not regretted it. Every time I've skipped it, oh yeah, you bet I've regretted it. Um, and, and most of the time, skipping a base color is also something I regret. But the last time I skipped it... Um, in the green reciprocal gradient that I did for Depression Awareness Month, it actually worked out okay. So that was, like, not horrible. But generally speaking, um, like, this doesn't take that long, and it definitely gets you some better results. There you are again. Oh, now you're in focus. Because now you realize that it's a macro. I need to just, I need to learn a little bit more about the programmable modes and probably program it so that it just stays in macro mode. Because, I mean, it's not like completely super, super, super close, but I mean, it's close enough that this is within the macro range instead of the regular range, I believe. I believe. You can, well, maybe you can't, but those little adjustment sounds that it was making those are the sounds that kind of are aggravating me being picked up in in the recorded audio but maybe it won't be that bad because i mean i wasn't fully talking during my little test things i was just looking to see uh what some of the different settings did and how you know how it looked and make sure i could actually like upload it to my computer which i had to upgrade or update my little camera window thingy like I I first plugged it in <coughs> and it was like uh this version of the software does not recognize this version of this camera or some shit hmm oh thank you amethyst this was this was Monday's project 
so that I don't have to worry about my hair while I'm doing 12 Days of Christmas. And because it's winter and protective styles. I mean, otherwise, like, especially like my natural hair, you know, the, the curlier your hair is, the easier it is for your hair to get dry. And in the wintertime, I mean, it's just like my nails. It, it Everything's dry and brittle. So having it all, like, protected and braided up is probably good for it. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Number one, music gal, if you got a microwave accessible to you, heat that shit up. I, Jerry Jerry would be like, mm, cold tea, but he would probably say peppermint tea. Uh, but I'm a hot tea fan. I, 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 I can drink, like, maybe the end of my cup if it's a little bit cool, but, I mean, tea is supposed to be hot, in my opinion. <coughs> and, yeah, if your feet are cold... Your whole body's gonna be cold. <laughs> to toast, like just stick me in a toaster. Let me pop back up once I'm a little bit, a little bit warmer. Mmm. You know, I, that, actually doing it right on the nail might be easy too because you could get like a piece of like a piece of plastic wrap, or or even like maybe even the mat to draw it out from under. That's a really interesting idea. Of course, my pile of, oh my God, such an interesting idea. <laughs> Sometimes, well, we'll see. Sometimes after 12 days of Christmas, it's just like I am experimented and tested out. And sometimes I'm like invigorated and ready to like, you know, be more productive, generally speaking. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I just don't want to cough when I get to. Mm. Well, actually, I could do this simply peel while I'm waiting for the... Actually, the sesh feed is probably already damn near dry while I've been sitting here lollygagging. Um, we've got a little bit of goop. Let's clean this. So, there we go. Just lift the whole thing off. I might have forgotten to refill it. No, it's still pretty full. I have found you guys probably remember how how weird and gross I was having problems with my with my latex. Keeping it full is is really helping the brush stay clean and I try to keep the stem clean if I notice any weird buildup like uh like that was. Here, let's turn this back on. Zoomed right in there and record. Yeah, because it's like the, you know, the record button is actually slightly recessed compared to some of the other buttons. Probably so you don't accidentally hit it. But in my case, like, that's the button I need most. And when my nails are wet, I don't necessarily want to be reaching into the little divot with my nail. Oh, bye, Bane. Oops, that's not a very good angle. <clears throat> it's really, really nice, though, to not have to worry about my camera just randomly deciding to shut itself off all right so we're trying to do not too thick of a coat but not too thin of a coat too thick of a coat takes too long to dry too thin of a coat doesn't peel off very nicely and that can be equally as much a pain in the butt so and if you don't have simply peel or if you're allergic to latex you can use tape there are non-latex barriers out there what's that whoa it's a little bit messy there what we can do here is it's like very lightly get that off of there like that <clears throat> then continue along you want to get as close as possible without of course touching your polish or the area where you want to keep your design and some people are really good at this i i consider myself like uh average if that and i actually feel like there's another little goober in inside the bottle that i maybe will try to get out after after this tutorial and after this stream because sometimes digging around in there is more of a 
you think it's gonna be easy like you feel like you should just be able to like reach in there with the you know like a uh, paper clip or something and get it out and sometimes it just really does not want to cooperate so <clears throat> there's that I think we'll go ahead and do our other hand too we'll do them both at the same time yeah sponge first not water marble the the e the odd number days will be nail arts and the even number days will be the water marbles. Waste yeah that's why well, I'm I'm doing it so it's gone from being the plan to being officially the plan. The tentative plan is about to become official. <clears throat> and then two. Like I have to figure out like people are some people are probably going to be like, OK, this this is way too much shit and just be like, you know, un unfollow or, you know, on YouTube unsub because all all these testing and all these extended tutorials from over here on Twitch are also going to be getting uploaded on YouTube during the 12 days of Christmas. Like I don't want to save up all the live stream archives until afterwards. So. And in some cases where I have, uh, you know, multiple things going on in the stream, I might be breaking the stream up into multiple uploads. Um, so a lot of days I'm going to have two or possibly even three videos uploading. So I'm really going to have to try and balance, you know, not have them, you know, all three publish at like 4 p.m. or something. Like I'm really going to have to be a little more mindful than I usually am to kind of space stuff out. But while I, while I do get some negative feedback on like the live stuff, for the most part, everybody, even on YouTube, has been very supportive. I mean, my thing has always been, if you want to check them out, please come check them out. And if you don't, like, we'll wait a day and there will be a regular tutorial up. Got another little area there. I'm just going to scooch it out of the way. <clears throat> Oh, and that's supposed to be like a like a base coat, right? I didn't even think about using that as a barrier. Yeah, I've I've had my Simply Peel dry out. And one thing too, Amethyst, is like extreme. It could be because you left it open. It could be just because due to extreme temperatures. So, originally from Germany, but meanwhile you live in Austria. Austria. For a minute I read Australia, but Austria is a little bit closer <laughs> to Germany. <clears throat> Yeah, my cousin took German in high school, actually, high school or college, and and then she took a trip to Germany. I uh, <laughs> try to remember if I took any language in high school or if I kind of like wiggled my way around. I can't, I can't speak doodly of any other language, and it's kind of sad. <clears throat> Got to go for the next appointment. All right, music gal, thanks for popping in. <coughs> <clears throat> Yeah, this bottle, I, uh, th well, this is actually my original bottle. I fully cleaned it out. Like, I let, I took everything in it that was gross out when I, uh, when I placed my order in July and I got a big refill bottle and I filled it up fresh. And since then, th it's been, I, I try to top it off a little bit, uh, every other manicure or so, and it's been staying really good. I have, uh, Another thing that can dry out latex, which I didn't know, I don't remember where I read this, UV light. Um, so I try to definitely keep, or, or was it, I think it was UV. So if you have any like UV nail lamp, keep it away from that. If you have a window where sun comes in, keep it away from that. So I've been, instead of just leaving it on my desk, which does get a little bit of sun sometimes because the window's like right there, I've been sticking it like around kind of around the desk corner in a little nook. Oh, you left it open. The cap rolled under the desk and you forgot. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, I think you have pretty good English, Mino. Definitely. And I, and I know sometimes, I mean, not from firsthand experience, but that like, you know, listening to a language and speaking a language and reading a language and writing a language. They're like all different levels of, I know how to speak a language. Like they're all different. Uh, I don't want to say completely different skills, but just cause you can, 
you know, understand it really well doesn't necessarily mean that you can speak it very well or vice versa. <clears throat> yeah, and, and like I said, extreme temperatures too. Like I pretty much decided that I probably would not ever order it in winter again, even though they have a really good winter sale because it gets so cold up here. And there's actually a disclaimer right on the website that if you live in a cold area and it arrives and it's like weird or if it's like dried out or solid, email their customer service and they will they will help you out. And I, I, I have a feeling that even if it arrives and it's fine, that possibly being exposed to that extreme of a temperature may shorten its life. And I kind of think that's what happened to my last bottle. I think that's why I was having so much trouble with clumping on the brush and all that weird stuff can see now it's dry except for a little bit of sparkle so it's mostly clear that's how you know it, it's dry it goes from creamy to clear <clears throat> which means that we are finally ready to move on to the actual gradient <clears throat> so i've got and i don't know where i've got to find out if there's one on amazon that's similar to this i bought these sponges which are of my preferred type of sponge um from the place i got my uh my last set of extensions from the the faux dreadlocks and i i really like this sponge better than the very dense ones that are like available at target do i want to trim this down a little bit i just i just need to keep in mind not to use the whole sponge i don't feel like like trimming it it's about equal length for my thumb it's like when, when you're sponging, keep in mind, like you don't have to fill the whole sponge with color if your nail is, if I get a good angle here, if your nail is shorter than the sponge. <clears throat> but you also got to keep in mind, I mean, like your pinky's your, your smallest nail. And keep in mind that like once you start getting the polish on there, um, excuse me again, <clears throat> the, uh, the sponge tends to swell a little bit, so it'll get a little bit bigger. Yes, I definitely agree, Amethyst. And then when you bring, like, slaying into it, it's like a whole other thing. <laughs> yeah, Google Google Translator is pretty good. And I mean, even even listening, I would imagine, can be difficult if, speak, if people speak with different accents. <clears throat> different. Yeah, and and so often that's the thing. Like if you don't if you don't use it, if you don't use it, you lose it. So, I suppose Twitch is great for something like that. Helping people keep sharp on their second language since I don't know when Twitch was founded. <laughs> So when you're doing a, a gradient, of course, you gotta decide what direction your gradient's going. And the the gradient is basically like the sky. So picturing like how the sky starts to look when the sun's going down, maybe the horizon is still a little bit lighter and then you've got a gradient up to the overhead, which is darker. So the decision here is then which which direction of my nail is the top of the sky. And in this case, I, and, and often it is the case, like I want my nails so that when I look at them, holding them toward myself like this, or when I extend them to somebody to show them my manicure, the tip of my nail is the bottom of the design. So the top of the sky is going to be at my cuticle. So you just need to be mindful to arrange your colors in the order that you want. I mean, I know that sounds basic, but... I, I have made the move of like starting and then be like, oh, wait, that's not the right. <laughs> I wanted them the other direction or even like knowing the direction that I want and inadvertently putting the sponge on there the wrong direction. So, uh, yeah, I definitely. Oops, you're off again. Let's turn you on. Which is fine. I mean, it's it saves battery when it turns itself off. I just need to be mindful <clears throat> there we go <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me I hope I'm not getting sick <clears throat> if 
For this gradient, I'll be putting the darker color toward my cuticle and the lightest toward the tip. So I'm just going to load them onto the sponge like I usually do. There'll be a little bit of overlap on the sponge that will help them to blend on the nail. After I do the final layer of the gradient, I'll be removing the Simply Peel and then we'll move on to painting the branches. All right, we might need to make it a little bit bigger than that for some of the other nails, but that's a good starting point. We'll just start sponging it on there. And Harley is gonna be pretty subtle on here, but especially once it starts to dry, I think you'll be able to see the difference. Um, Harley looks light in the bottle, but when we swatched it out, it tends to dry darker. Hello, Benny. Where you going, buddy? And of course, uh, Iris is the darkest one. Is that the right? Yeah. Iris? <gasps> Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay. I have nail polish on my pants, but it's okay. Um, shit. Shit. nail polish all over my pants I don't know what to do I don't know what to do about this I'm really glad that bottle didn't hit the floor I I don't know what to do about this so guess what when you don't know what to do you just keep doing what you're doing I mean I gotta get the manicure done right <laughs> oh my god I don't even understand what happened it just like it just it went crazy jumped out of my hands it jumped out of my hands I've got two both both legs oh my god oh my god can I get two nails out of this oh my god I'm just I mean I'm sitting here I can I'm looking at it <laughs> god <laughs> Yeah, it's a not-so-happy little accident. Hmm. I'll, I'll take a look at it after I finish this hand. I'm just, I'm not, I've never spilled this much nail polish on myself. The most I've had is like a little, a droplet or two. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, there's our there's our first layer. That's not not bad at all. It's subtle. It's not intended to be like a super vibrant uh, gradient. Let's see if I can. Where can you see right here? It's it's far away, so the camera isn't really wanting to. Maybe if I there we go one pant leg there's the other one mm, right there how do I get that much nail polish off of me that's uh and the glitter is just like sitting on top of the material I'm, I'm going at it with a q-tip yeah I, I don't know I guess we'll I mean these aren't like super great pants they're fucking a pair of leggings from Amazon but god clutz moment for real I mean there's this all over the q-tip so I guess I got at least that much out of my pants mm -hmm. god all right we're not spending too much time on this because we don't want the sponge to dry out. We're going to use the same sponge to get started on the first layer. Um, other hand. God, though, you guys. I can't believe I did that. I mean, I, I completely can believe I did that, but I can't believe I did that. Because I am 100% a klutz. But as much, like, nail polish as I use and nail art, like, that that's not happened to me before. <laughs> Okay, let's try to, for some reason, out of all the things I do ambidextrously, 
Spon I find sponging to be one of the hardest things to do left-handed. Especially to keep it even. It ends up going at like a weird angle sometimes. Oh, God, I can't believe I did that. But you know what would have been so much worse? If it had hit the floor and got nail polish all over the carpet and spilled out the whole bottle before I finished the gradient. <laughs> like we did all that testing to find the perfect color. And what do I do? I spill the shit on the ground before I can do the manicure. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Recovering my, uh, my dignity after that. I guess most people that paint their nails have probably had that happen to them. So I'm probably in, in good company. <laughs> oh, there goes the camera saving its battery again. That's perfectly fine camera. I'm sure I can adjust that setting somewhere. I'm not sure if I, oh, look at see all that messing around. I peeled some of my Simply Peel. I'm not going to try to fix that. We're just going to, we're going to keep going. And this is like the short and nubby nail that we broke earlier or broke last night and patched last night and lost sleep to patch. And then the patch failed today. Not that I'm bitter <laughs> much. Oh man. Yeah. Maybe that, yeah, I'll just start doing that. Just buy these cheap leggings from Amazon. Do paint splatter nail polish on them. I mean, I wonder how it'll actually wash. Well, I guess I would have had to leave it on there to, to test that theory. I mean, they do make like clothing paints. I'm pretty sure they're not made with nail polish formula. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, we'll continue here. Come back on, please, camera. Oop, got nail polish on it. First nail polish on the camera. I'm not sure if that's boo-hoo or yay. God. It's, it's getting more and more awkward to press the record button with, like, latex and wet nails. Please focus. All right, so this may or may not be the last gradient. We'll see... How this goes and if we uh, take off the simply peel once we uh, get it on here or if it looks like it needs one more coat I'm, I'm thinking since we did use a base color that this may be uh, the final coat hey Artie we are uh, working on some some well winter nails they're part of my 12 days of Christmas but all 12 days are not like all super Christmas. They're they're wintry and they're holidays. Some are super Christmas. But I find it easier to do not everything super Christmas. So let's get that. Mm. Trying to judge if I want another layer or not. I think I do. I think I want one more layer after this. And it might be a layer. We'll, we'll see how this sponge holds up, if this sponge starts to dry out or not. Yeah, I really like these colors. They are a perfect match to what I had in my head for this manicure. And that always makes me really happy. Because sometimes it's like you have the idea and you just can't quite execute the idea. And in this case, I think it's going really well. And with a gradient, of course, I mean, like, you just, you, it, it's, it's hard to perfectly describe, like, what you need to do. You, you need to get a feel for it for yourself is the easiest way I can put it. Like, of course, you need to dab, 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 move back and forth a little, move up and down a little bit, blend them on the sponge a little bit. But you also just have to, like, eyeball it. There's, there's no replacement for eyeballing it.
Yeah. That's pretty good. Actually, maybe I should. No, we'll do, well. Yeah, one more coat. I think would be good. Nail polish art on skirt. That that would actually be probably pretty cool. I mean, I always think that like nail art techniques could be used on a lot of other, you know, things. Dr. Crotron is is trying to get me to do a nail art slash gunpla collab. I think he wants me to water marble one of his shields or something. I would be so nervous though. He spent so much time on those. I wouldn't want to be the one responsible for derping it up. And he assures me that it would not be derped up, but I mean like the pressure, you guys. <clears throat> oh. I'm I'm still a little bit like my my heart raced when that bottle like jumped off the desk i thought it was just gonna just all pour out i, <laughs> I was just prepared mentally for it to be a disaster and then it was only a small disaster not like a complete disaster haha <laughs> Yeah, already. This this is actually one of my favorites. I love sponge gradients. Uh, you can also do a gradient with like a fan brush, and that creates kind of more of a brush strokey pattern, especially uh, you know depending on the finish of the polish that you use. But sponging can let you get a really uh, like a, a pretty smooth blend to the colors, And the, and the weird looking stuff around my nails is called Simply Peel. It's a latex barrier that makes the cleanup a little bit easier. Like you're, you're still going to have some cleanup. I mean, you are because it's, it's messy. But much less with the, uh, with the Simply Peel. Which you'll be able to see now. Because we're going to go... We're going directly into the last... Uh, the last layer. Because I don't want the sponge to dry out anymore. Come on here, camera. Hello, here I am. Thank you. We're working with my new camera and I'm talking to it to make sure that it knows that I love it, but that I also have high expectations of it. Better not fuck with me, camera. God, do your job or you will be returned and replaced. No, I'm not returning this camera unless it breaks. I, l I love it so far. I, I love it because when I look... Well, number one, when I look at the screen, I can fucking see the screen because it's a tilt screen. I also love it because when I look at the screen, I'm seeing exactly what I see when I look down at my hands. It's so color accurate so far. And I mean, we're, we're working with purples here and you guys know purples are one of the worst for capturing on camera. And I think this is going to look really good. So on your final layer... Let's grab the edge of the latex and ta-da! And I just tipped over that same bottle again, but not off the desk this time at least. All right, get off of there. We'll do this one too. Come on, come on. The tweezer is optional, but I can't imagine ugh, trying to do this with wet nails. Come on, carefully. Whoop! There we go. God damn it. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> this bottle of polish just does not want to stay upright. It's freaking impossible. All right. Mm. Yes, camera must be a good boy. It is though, it's, it's behaving. The uh, the hot shoe is behaving. It must have heard me talking about replacing it. The camera hasn't been uh, drooping at all. <laughs> I 
Alright, that looks good. And I probably could use like a little bit more Simply Peel, honestly. Sometimes it's hard to find the edge. But really, it's like just the perfect amount. Because you can really tell when I should have used more when there's like a little edge of polish that's uh, on the skin. Like it went over where the Simply Peel was actually protecting. And uh, we don't have too much of that going on. So that's a that's a plus. All right, let's do this thumb. And then we'll move on to the other hand. And then we'll move on to the branches because this is not... This is not the end of the manicure, unless you wanted it to be. I mean, when I do a, like a multi-part manicure, hopefully I, I hope that people realize, like you can, you can pick and choose which parts you want to do. If you think this is an awesome gradient all by itself, just wear it as an awesome gradient all by itself. If you think the branches are cool, but you think the gradient's stupid, skip the gradient. Put the branches on a plain background. There we go. Oop, you're stuck. <clears throat> Whoop, there you tilted a little. It's fine though. Yeah, that's okay. All right, we'll go on to the next hand. And like I said, if I can, especially if I can remap some of these buttons to be on the touch screen, which is easier to just very lightly touch I think I would have less problems with the with the hot shoe because part of the problems are just because I'm trying to depress a button which of course requires a little bit of you know pressure whereas versus just touching a screen <clears throat> try and keep this super super even in fact I wonder if I can get away with doing three nails and then we only have to do two sponges yeah, that's good. I feel like I'm getting a little bit too much purple on, dark purple on a couple of these, but nah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. And this little one with the weird, See, like right here, we've got a little bit of polish because that's where the, the Simply Peel rolled back on me. God, get off my finger. Sometimes it can be tricky just to get it properly off of the tweezers because it just wants to stick to everything. Oh, and then, of course, that one came off super easy. <laughs> All right, two more nails. <clears throat> Yes, Artie. Most most of the time, yes. Not always, but usually. Oh, that's wonderful, Amethyst. Does that also mean no more extra long drives to go see said doctor like you were going to have to do? Cuz I remember you were saying it was a it was like not a close trip. That's great though cuz I know I mean, you, you said he would take the medicine with the uh, with the ice cream. Don't want to be feeding him ice cream every single day for too long. All right, I think we're good there. Um. Oh, I was talking about base color. So yeah, I'll, I usually I'll use a base color. The times when I don't use a base color, 90% of the time I regret it. The trick is with the base color, you got to make sure that it's like fully dry before you start sponging or you'll like go to sponge and you'll like sponge up the base color and create little bald spots. So we are approximately halfway through our tutorial ish. Yeah. That's great. I mean, not just, I mean, obviously it's great that he's, you know, doing better and all that, but I was just talking about with my mom, like time, like is so freaking precious. Like stuff that saves time is the, is the, is the best thing. <sighs> I'm starting to feel like I need to go to the bathroom and I'm trying to determine if I can get through the rest of this manicure or if I need to like, 
Let, let's see how I'm feeling. Let's do cleanup. And then if I have to take a break, my nails will at least be dry enough to hopefully let me go to the bathroom without screwing everything up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Usually. I mean, I have had cases where I've used darker colors as the base, but it, it's kind of like water marbles. Usually it's going to be white or the brightest. Um, are we off again? Okay, let's turn on again. Okay. And let's record again. Oh, the buttons, I don't know too if it's just because they're so like new, but the buttons are all like stiff, hard to press. <laughs> <clears throat> Once you've finished your gradient and removed the latex, go ahead and clean up any... Let, let's try that again. Once you've finished the gradient and removed the latex, you can go up and clean up around the edges using a small brush and acetone. So some people, like I mentioned earlier, can get their, their latex in so close that this like isn't even actually necessary. But most of us mortals will still need to give a little bit of attention around the side walls and around the cuticles to get the gradient looking really clean. Okay. Trying to really be very mindful of staying frame too because that was the last couple tutorials. It was like a couple a couple times and it what it was partly my fault but not completely. It was like most of the time when the camera was jumping it would jump back to the normal uh, framing. Is that the correct term? Like to showing what I thought it was showing. But sometimes when instead of going, chuk, chuk, it would just go chuk, and stay there. And then I'm like not recording what I set myself up to record and I'm off screen and it's, it's after the fact and it's too late and there's nothing you can do to fix it. <laughs> so it's really nice to it's really just nice to have a camera that's behaving itself again all the other stuff is just bonus I mean good nice bonus but oh, I can tell too uh, Iris the glitters are going to need like extra extra attention because they're like getting down in my cuticle I can see it But that's fine. These are fairly easy to clean up. Not as easy as like a cream. The the glitterier or shimmerier or something is. That makes it a little bit more difficult. And then of course we've got like some stuff on the side of the finger here. We can just, you know, any big spots, hit up with a Q-tip. Hmm this. I think that's some leftover latex. Scrape that off with the end of my... The, the end of my cleanup brush is actually quite useful. It's kind of like a chisel shape. Um, and sometimes I even use it instead of an orange stick for uh, pressing bubbles flat on water marbles. Because you can, you can see through it. You can see what you're doing. Um, it's kind of big, but it's, it's kind of nice to be able to see through it. So it's kind of like... Okay. All right. And how, how dry are you? Oh, they're pretty dry. Yeah. So we can stop recording. <clears throat> the little camera chimes yeah I do too and I I, I uh, I'm, j I'm just so glad I was really I was I, I kind of overstressed about this purchase and I, I think that's normal when you're spending like more than a certain amount of money on a certain thing 
Like, I think you have different levels. Like, it's one thing to go to the grocery store or Target or whatever and, and drop a bunch of money. But something like, like a camera or something, it's just like, man, I, I hope this is the right thing to be spending all this money on. Because there's so many options. I'm just with the uh, Q-tip a little bit of... And this is mainly this, this stuff on my uh, finger pads is from trying to pull the latex off of the tweezers. So that's why this hand is a little bit more, even more messy than the other one. Just in a couple spots. And then this little couple spots where the latex didn't fully cover. Pretty minor. I was a little bit worried about having too much of the dark purple at the cuticle and that's actually another reason that I put it toward the cuticle because I almost always end up with less there than I apply because when you're sponging you don't really pay as much attention as you should and I'm including myself uh, to where the latex is and where your actual cuticle is so like here we're taking away quite a bit because we're we're cleaning up the part that's on top of the cuticle and, and I like the nice clean cuticle line a uh, little, little bit of a gap so we're getting rid of like a couple millimeters of the darkest color like that so you know compare compare the pinky to like the, the ring finger yeah big purchases are tough like you know cars and computers and, and not just, I think, because of the money involved, but because you know, like, this is a purchase that's going to be, uh, you know, for years. You know, whereas, like, if you, if you buy $200 worth of toilet paper, that's just, like, a huge amount of toilet paper. It's not, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Versus spending, like, $200 on a camera or, you know, whatever. But they are unavoidable. And this is this is the first time in, in quite... I'm trying to think of what the last big purchase I made was. Probably my computer, which I realized uh, just a little bit ago is actually four years old, not three years old. So I'm more impressed than ever at how well it's handling streaming and at how well it's handling Hollow Knight. Um, for... God, again... Okay, you guys, is this like a record, you guys? You know, you know my phone does not ring this much. And I don't need to answer that one either. So, is, is it because it's a weekday, maybe? No, even, even on weekdays, usually. Like, you don't understand. Nobody calls here. Well, there, there's a couple people I would expect to call, including my friend that I told I would call back when I finished streaming, which I need to remind myself not to... Oof. That was way too much. Oh, well. Acetone is cheap. I like to have a lot. Actually, and I probably will need quite a bit to clean off the brushes. I like to be able to get my brush in there and, like, whoosh it around to help clean it. Like, I try not to, like... I mean, I'll, I'll wipe my brush like this. The thing is, you don't want to lose that, that chisely point. So you don't want to, like, smash the tip of it. You always want to keep, like, the tip in a point if you can I mean you're gonna have some roughness like when you're getting in here I mean you're you're putting that pressure on the bristles but like especially like when you're when you're wiping it or when you're cleaning it to keep that in mind I feel like helps extend its lifetime I mean eventually you're gonna have to probably replace it, it eventually it, as careful as you are due to the nature of what you're using it for the bristles are gonna get worn down and smooshed sometimes too a problem that I've had, and this one has really held up pretty well, is that the the glue holding the bristles like in here will start to dissolve, and the bristles will compact down into the handle. And in some cases, with that, I've been able to like grab all the bristles like in the grip of a tweezer and pull them out, and try to like squoosh some some more glue down in there to hold them out. Um, but that never lasts for very long. If that happens, that's usually pretty much the, the end of that particular cleanup brush and it's time to get another one. 
But I, I mean, as often as I do my nails, I'd say my cleanup brushes usually last me two years, maybe. I, I don't remember the last time I bought a new one, if that says anything. I mean, not that I obviously have the greatest, greatest memory ever, but I'm 90% sure it was not this year and we're almost at the end of the year. <laughs> no. I mean, that's, I, I would assume that's probably like a DSLR or something where there's like the body and then the lens too. Those are so cool, but also intimidating. Like, I don't, I don't feel like I need that much of, a, I don't know how to handle that much of a camera. I barely know how to handle the manual, fo I don't know how to handle the manual focus on this yet. CJS, hello. So exciting. Finally get to watch a live stream. Uh, today we are working on the first design for the 12 days of Christmas. We're just cleaning up the gradient here and then we're going to add some snow covered branches. Actually, let's, this might be a little bit easier. Like we did some testing on here. This is the testing that we did on Saturday. So that's what's going to go on top of the gradient once we, uh, once we finish cleaning up here. And we also did a little bit of testing for days three and four. If, if you've been catching the live streams on YouTube, you, you probably already know that the 12 days of Christmas this year, the, the sub theme, I guess you could say, is winter water marble wonderland. And I never feel, I like, I have the urge, the, the reason I always sound a little bit weird when I say that is because I have this urge to sing it. And I'm like very consciously telling myself, don't do that because I can't sing. But, you know, like Winter Wonderland, except it's Winter Water Marble. I mean, like, you know the beat of the song. You can sing it to yourself. Or maybe some point before the end of the stream, I will I will make a fool of myself and sing it. But um, So every odd-numbered day is going to be a nail art. And then the following even-numbered day is going to be a water marble uh, inspired by and using the same polishes as the previous day's nail art and I'm just like getting some of these little corner areas with the q-tip sometimes it's a little easier to to sit back a bit but um yeah we're gonna clean up a little bit more around here and then I do I do have to take another break you guys before we get to the branches but it'll just be a quick break <clears throat> the the day three and four I've gone through a lot of back and forth on what the design will be, and I still, even after the testing from the beginning of the stream today, we, I'm not firm on what that's going to be. And then we, we've got we've got more testing and so much more nail art. Hopefully, you'll be able to to pop in some more CJS because, I mean, this like I said, this is the first of the twelve days of Christmas. This will be going up on YouTube on Sunday. And then starting from there, you know, 12 straight days. So I have just a few more days than I have nail arts to do. So there's going to be a ton of streams because we've only, we've only tested through day four and we're only just getting started with actual tutorials. So it's, it's exhilarating and stressful at the same time, you guys, honestly. Like I, I look forward to this and I dread it because it's it's so difficult there's so much but it's so satisfying when it's done and it's so satisfying like I mean you hear me talk about you know being disappointed with myself and I think that's normal for everybody but like you know oh god I haven't gotten this done I haven't gotten this organized I haven't you know done this or I did this late or whatever and when I finish the 12 days of Christmas it's just like you did that self. And uh, it's, it's a really good feeling. I thought at one point, well, it's, it's not a thought. I've completely abandoned it. I was like, 12 days of Christmas. Like, why aren't there 12 days of anything else? And I was like, maybe I should start doing a... In fact, even this year, I thought about doing 12 days of Halloween. Like, as kind of a tongue-in-cheek little joke. Like, okay, I know it's 12 days of Christmas, but hey... 12 days of Halloween nail art I think would have been fun too but October was pretty busy especially since I had my my trip at the end of that month I didn't really I didn't really do a ton 
of Halloween designs this year, I feel like. Um, I got done most of what I wanted to do, but I know some people probably would have liked more uh, specifically like Halloween themed designs. I can I can only think of the ghosts, which I hated. I think I did one more. Oh, I did the candy corn fan brush. Mm. Oh, I didn't know they were having a contest. Or maybe I did see that one. I I hate contests on Instagram cuz they're always like Oh, like, follow, and then tag your friends in the comments. Like, dude, that's so spammy. I, and I think as, like, kind of somewhat of a public figure, like, I'm constantly getting tagged by people in in random giveaways. Like, not even just nail art giveaways, just, like, random giveaways as their friend to be tagged. And so it's kind of like, when I when I look at one, if it if that's one of the requirements, I'm very much not likely to participate and also because i mean as as you know i I don't want to say i'm having money problems or i'm broke but i'm kind of broke but i'm not in dire need of winning a contest I'm, i'm not so broke that it's like i can't buy my own nail polish anymore you know so i kind of feel like i want somebody who really deserves it not just deserves it but really doesn't have any other way to get nail polish to win the contest and maybe that doesn't even happen because nobody else cares about that and just everybody enters but a lot of times if it's something that I feel like I could easily get myself I will uh you know hold back just to give somebody else that chance not to say I never enter contest if I see a really really good contest hell yeah I'm gonna enter it um so here's our gradient I'm really liking this you guys know the magic of gradients is that they always smooth out once you uh, add top coat but we're not going to be top coating until after we do the branches i'm really liking this it's not picking up all the purple on camera i think the the bottle if i just hold the bottle by itself it looks more lavender than if i show you my nails i mean they look gray this is a purple gray type of situation <clears throat> oh you're welcome man I, I, I saw, I was like, I don't, it's not like I'm a, a follow for follow type of person or anything like that, but you have a very nice little page and I saw you had tagged me and I recognized your picture from, cause it's the same picture you use in discord. And I was like, Oh, it's Anne. I was like, I, you know, it's like, I don't like search people out, but when I find people, yeah, you're welcome, I guess. <laughs> um, hand painted winter landscape for this. I'm I'm going to say it's probably closer to awesome, Mino, because we are always hardest on our on ourself. And that is something that I try to break myself of with mixed success. Okay, it has actually been almost two hours since my last break, so I guess it's not surprising that I need to take a potty. It is six fifteen. I'm gonna try to be back to you guys by six twenty five. I should put the music on here this time too, is shouldn't I? I, I have to admit, I skipped it last time because I had to, like, run for the bathroom. I was, like, trying not to, like, do a little potty dance in my chair, but I had to pee so bad, you guys. Um, That's not a good situation because I got to go downstairs to get to the bathroom, and I don't want to be like, imagine you just fall down the stairs and you really have to go to the bathroom, and, I mean, <laughs> it's a bad situation. Fall down the stairs and piss yourself. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to tag people. Then I might, I might have to join. <laughs> You're welcome to me, no. Yeah, I mean, and I, I find it really, um, don't know if I want to say fulfilling exactly, but like, I like it when I see the good nail art people follow me back. I like it when I see the beginner nail art people follow me back also. But it's like, I don't know how to how to properly explain it. it's like this person thinks i'm good kind of a feeling so okay let me where, where's the music here i'm gonna stick on the music i'm gonna go run and take a potty break real quick I'm gonna be careful of these because they're they're dry but they're not dry so need to be mindful but i will return shortly and 
Maybe I'll stick this here so you guys can see and anybody that stops in can see. This is what we'll be working on when I get back. Let me not forget to turn on the music. <laughs>
I have returned. Even slightly early for once. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm just seeing Amethyst's comment. So, tree branches. We're going to be using it this one or this one. I think I used this this longer one um, when I was drawing them. So we'll go with that. <sighs> I'm a little bit nervous about the branches. I have a tendency when I'm doing branches to add way too many branches. Like minimal is better. And like as far as like my my experiments like this one is my favorite because it's like looking like a tree branch but it also we want like horizontal branches because snow coming from the top sticking on the horizontal super vertical branches aren't going to have a lot of snow excuse me excuse me I don't, I don't know what else to say I'm guessing it's maybe from all the like throat clearing and weird stuff I'm doing hmm okay okay yeah the top wasn't on properly how about that now my boobs full of super cold water well it, it's not full but it's <laughs> god damn it <laughs> uh okay <sighs> it's not it's not on screen we'll just pretend that my shirt's not all wet now <laughs> oh Yes, less is more. So often in nail art. <laughs> I'm still learning this lesson. It's a hard look. God, nail polish, water. Okay, things come in three. Have I spilled acetone? I did spill acetone. I spilled too much acetone in the thing. So we should be good to go now. No more spills. Um, tips for working around with a semi-dry manicure. Move slowly. Blot. Do not apply direct pressure, <laughs> whether you are washing your hands or mopping up spilled water. So, um, here's our nice clean lid that we're going to use as a palette. Uh, we're going to be using Janessa for the snow. Janessa is so pretty. And the branches are going to be done with Troy, which it's, it's difficult to tell on camera. I think you can see the cool metallic nature of it. This is like a really, really dark purple. I, I would almost call this gunmetal purple. And I know that's not a real thing, but it is now. <laughs> yeah, it's happy little accident. Day. I mean, it was only water. That could have... Well, no, my, my teacup would never actually be loose like that. I was going to say, it could have been hot tea, but I need to remember that the lid on this thing, it's like it screws on and you think it's on, but actually you missed a thread. And then when you go to drink, it's just like water all over the place. <laughs> yeah, and then everybody's looking at you like, what are you doing? Throwing pens at the window. <laughs> oh, okay. Branches first, then snow. So like we were talking earlier, let's get this a little bit out of the way. We've got the top of the sky up here. We've got, uh, you know, the ground, quote unquote, toward the bottom of the nail. But we're going to want to get the branches coming in like sideways. And the question is, do we want to treat like each nail individually, like branches possibly coming in from both sides? Or do we want to treat it like there's an imaginary tree that all the nails are a part of? I'm leaning toward treating each nail as itself because that'll let me bring in some branches from the side without worrying about it how it looks to the other nails so I, th I think that's what we're gonna go with and uh <sighs> freehand makes me nervous freehand makes me really nervous because I'm it's just it's tough it's tougher than like a gradient and to me it's tougher than like a water marble because water marble has its issues but once you figure out the issues you're good to go freehand you could make a mistake at any moment I want to keep this can I put this like right 
let's move this. Let's wedge this. Let's wedge this right here so that I can see my favorite experiment. Okay, this is like a little bit precarious. And then, and then too, keeping in mind perspective, like I'm looking at it from this direction, but people are gonna be looking at it from this direction. <sighs> yeah, I think just concentrate on them coming in from the sides. Maybe a few coming in kind of from a corner or the bottom. But mainly like side stuff and just treat each nail individually. Not try to worry about, well, if there was a real tree, how would, you know, sometimes that stuff does make a difference, especially if you're, you're doing something like I had a, a autumn design with tree branches, actually, where the moon was across two nails. So obviously in a situation like that, you need to be a little bit more careful, but I mean, we're already got purple sky and, and purple branches, so we don't have to act like this is a technically accurate tree manicure. <laughs> oh. Mm. well at least there weren't too many witnesses amethyst mm. yeah the tea is definitely tepid now definitely tepid okay um let's get the camera back on here bloop bloop Okay, um, we'll just loosen these, these lids. <clears throat> oh, scalding hot. Well, and when that happens too, especially like if you have clothes on, the hot material is then also like stinging and clinging and and burning and stinging your skin and like yeah no bull yeah plus like i always because i have like so much electronic stuff like all over the place i'm super in fact let's move this let's move this water marble cup off the desk and up here where it's a little bit safer i'm always paranoid of like spilling something all over my keyboard or all over my computer or all over my microphone or my new camera <laughs> my webcams my cell phone who knows <sighs> okay just do it let's just do it <clears throat> all right i've got a plastic lid that i'm going to be using as my paint palette i'm going to start off with a little bit of zoya troy as i mentioned that will be for the branches just start with a bit and add more as you need. I've got a medium size skinny little brush. Not quite a striper. I don't think it's long enough for that. And I'm going to just load up some of the polish on there and start drawing in some branches. I'm trying to be mindful to keep the, uh, the gradient visible not go overboard with the branches and because I plan on topping them with snow I also want to make sure to keep them going mostly in like a horizontal direction because of course a vertical branch is not going to have snow stuck on it and I'm just going to do that across all my nails I kind of wonder if I should adjust how I sit or how I talk for my new camera, but we'll see how it sounds when I when I edit. I can't expect to be a, a super pro with it right away. Um, but like it does record in stereo and I don't know if my other camera did that. So I wonder if I'm, you know, like in a good position to, to catch the stereo sound or for the, for the stereo sound to pick me up properly or if it's going to sound like I'm like off to one side or something um let's oh indec indecision 
we'll have another one coming from over here kind of and and like bob ross says give those give those branches some character if you've got shaky hands that's a good thing mm-hmm <laughs> And I'm trying to be very mindful also to go all the way to the edge, like not leave any gaps, like right next to the sidewall, or if I have any that go by the cuticle. Um, just rinse it out a little bit with acetone. That's looking fairly okay, yes. If, you're, if your polish starts to get gummy or starts to dry out a little bit, just dab out a little bit more. That's why I just keep it to little small dabs because I'm frequently uh, switching it back back and forth. Um, maybe this one will have some coming in and down and over like that. And I don't want the branches to be too skinny either because then I felt like it looked I felt like the branches should look a little thicker than the layer of snow. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then this will come kind of... Hmm. Channel Bob Ross. Guide me, Bob. <sighs> the stress of free hand. <clears throat> okay. Let's get this one like coming up from about yeah. Okay. We are almost done with one hand, you guys. And I think it doesn't suck. How's that? Yeah? See, and now my, my webcam is getting kind of weird, too. I can see that it's a little bit harder to... to see. I'm... I'm... I'm not, like, thrilled to death. I'm pleased. I'm pleased enough because I, I expected to not be completely happy because you know I rarely am <laughs> but the only way to get better is practice I know I say that all the time but I mean it's true you're not you're, you're very rarely gonna have a situation where it's like oh my god I'm awesome at this like right off the bat that's too vertical Oh, well, it's because I'm having another one come off and go this way. Um, you know, there's aptitude, but that's only going to get you so far. You have to have patience. Oh, that's goofy. Did I touch the napkin? I might have. You got to have patience and you got to practice and you got to be willing to like put the time in to really get good at something okay hmm. I'm just looking at these like with a critical eye let's uh let's no let's get a little bit fresh polish I think I want to add just a little little guy coming off of here like that and then actually make this a little bit like actually off the side of the nail like that little beanie here get out of there little beanie here if there's any others yeah I think I wanna, am I, 
I want to make this one another like slightly more beefy one and just have this also be one that crosses the whole nail just about and goes off off the other side And maybe kind of this one too, like beef, beef it up a little bit and then bring it fully off the side of the nail. Like that. Ooh, ooh, where, up. Oh. Gary, Gory? Where's my, okay, I can't read that. Where's my actual notification thing? Gory Rilmore, thank you for the follow. I need, I need to remember to always to check my follows when I get back from break. Sometimes after stream, I'll look at my notifications and I'm like, wait a minute, when did that notification come through? And I'm possibly like just not hearing them, but I think more often it's like I'm gone on break and somebody drops a follow while I'm gone and I don't notice it when I get back and then I feel oh, guilty. I just, that's shit. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't ruin it. That was kind of dumb, though. I was literally just resting my hand on my nail, like, to support painting the other nail. <laughs> okay, let's, let's fix this. Fix it. Okay. I think we're going to stop. There's still a couple things that I'm like, uh... In fact, oh, I'm so like, no, we're stopping. We're stopping. I want, I want to add like something more on this nail. I'm not, I'm stopping. We're going to go to the other hand and we're going to see what kind of branches my left hand can draw. <laughs> Hope that Bob Ross was right about that uh, unsteady hand. Mm. Ooh, on a three hour flight. Oh my god. Your boyfriend reacted immediately and cooled. Yeah. My my mom to this day has a scar and she'll tell you I forget how old she was, but it was from uh chicken pot pie dropping on her leg. Like hot, like not, I'm obviously not frozen. I mean, we're talking about burns here, like fucking hot, bubbling chicken pot pie. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you guys like it. All right, so working with the left hand's always tricky. It's the same as with the right hand, though. Practice and maybe find a different way of holding. Like, you see how I hold it in my left hand? Like, in my right hand, I tend to hold it like a pencil. In my left hand, I kind of hold it sort of like a pencil, but like not really. Like you want to find a way that's comfortable to hold it that lets you, in, in most cases, the thing I, I really want to concentrate on is being able to draw like a, like a smooth stroke. Not necessarily a straight line, but a smooth stroke that feels comfortable and not like super awkward. Some awkwardness is unavoidable unless you're left-handed and then some awkwardness is unavoidable with your right hand. But generally speaking, you'll, you'll just gradually learn some tricks to make working with your offhand easier and uh, little by little get kind of ambidextrous about it. Let's... Uh, Yeah, that's good. The other thing, of course, is, uh, and I'm and like I said with my cleanup brush, I'm trying to be careful when cleaning these these new nail art brushes too, not to just like get them in there, and just be real rough with them. Like I'm trying to rinse them in the acetone, and then like give them a little bit of a roll to try and keep them with their point, because like some of my older ones, where's like some of my other line, like yeah, like this one. I would like them to keep this shape naturally instead of turning into like a big bristly mess like this one, which this one is like a much cheaper one in the first place. But like, of course, once you get it wet or once you get polish on it, you can form it back to that shape. 
but I think it wanting to be still in that shape naturally just like helps so okay uh, and the type of brush too I feel like is personal preference in some cases yes there's a brush that's supposed to air quotes be used for such and such but like really like are you the brush police <laughs> like if it's comfortable for you and it works then it's the right brush like Bob Ross again we'll talk about you know right now I'm gonna use my my two inch brush one inch brush would work just as good or it could be the opposite right now we're using the one inch brush Two inch brush will get it done a little bit faster, but you use whatever, whatever is your personal preference. That's my line. I don't think Bob Ross ever said anything about your personal preference, but that's, that's my, my catchphrase. Um, I think I want to bring this one a little bit more. Oops, that was messy. And we might we might end up needing to do a little bit of cleanup. I mean, we did the majority of the cleanup for the gradient already. But we might find that there are a couple places we got messy with the branches, and that's fine. You don't have to only do cleanup once. No, no rule about that. <clears throat> and I'm not doing, like, exactly... The same number on each nail actually some okay i said i was done with my right hand didn't i let's let's stick with that i'm like oh maybe i should have one on here that has four branches because i stuck one on here no most of them are going to have three but it's just because i'm trying to have a similarity of coverage between the different nails not like any hard and fast rule some could have two some could have four i do have one with four right here I mean, four ends at least. I mean, they're coming off of similar branches, but. And part of it too is because I want, I want the gradient to be able to still like shine. Should we have branches that cross? No, I don't think I do want branches that cross. Never mind. But this one's going to snake kind of down here. And I don't want branches that cross only because I think that would take away a little bit from the snowy, snowy design and from the gradient. If you want your branches to cross, just go ahead and cross them. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I feel like... I mean, I feel like it would be really awkward for writing. Because, like, with writing, you're not trying to just do... With writing, you're trying to, of course, sometimes with nail art, you're trying to do more complicated too. Of course, if I was doing something other than branches, maybe I would uh, hold it differently. I don't know. The The grip is like the brush itself. If it's working for you, you're, you've got the right grip. Um, can I just like... There... And part of it too is like, I'm trying to get as close as possible, but I'm also trying to get where I can see around and underneath the ring light. Sometimes that can make it a lot harder, like on my back. Of course, when you're working in the comfort of your own home and you're not streaming and you're not recording, set yourself up however is most comfortable for you. Cause that's, I feel like that's a huge, a huge part of success also. If you're uncomfortable, it's going to be harder to, to be successful. Um, and sometimes like re-going over a line to just make it a little bit thicker is like the hardest part of all. Okay. Almost done. There we go. 
my favorite branches that I've ever done might have been the first branches that I ever did, which was actually collaboration. Collaboration? Yeah, I guess so. For the launch of Sephora's Formula X. Um, I guess that doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll try to like make my hands symmetrical, but it that's that's my own thing. That's not a thing that actually matters. Um Ooh, oops. That was an oops that was okay. Ooh, I feel another burp. Excuse me, pre pre excuse me. Oh, because I can't cover my mouth like a lady. Does it count if my mouth is just not on camera? Is that just as good as not as covering it? <laughs> mm. Uh. It's illegal. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was that was a little bit messy. I lost a little bit of the point there. It's okay. It's minor and it's the right hand. I always like cut cut yourself some slack when you're working on your dominant hand with with your non-dominant hand. Don't be like, "Oh my god, that doesn't look as good as the other hand." Like cut yourself some slack. Okay. Almost done here, I think. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit more. No, stop. Stop while I'm ahead. Less is more. Less is more. Less is more. Stop what you're doing. Okay. Are these... These are fairly balanced. Um, which is, which is what I'm looking at. I'm not looking for them to match, although there are a couple things that apparently I ended up doing almost the same on both hands. Like these two. Um, but like the, the, it's like when I talk about doing a random water marble pattern, but I still want the nails to have, uh, uh, similarities between them. The, the amount of color, uh, random, but similar, fuck, what is the word? The word is escaping me. Consistency, random, but consistent, kind of the same idea with, with the branches, random, but consistent. You don't want one nail that's like got eight. 18 branches and you can't even see the uh the gradient anymore yeah kind kind of like symmetry but not i mean like these two damn near are symmetrical but you know I, I think i've got some variety on the other ones i mean i did do a couple similar things but i think we're mostly pretty good the, this thumb i feel kind of like adding a little bit more to but i'm not i'm stopping myself less is more I'm glad you guys like them because that like sometimes even if I hate something if I know that somebody else enjoyed it then that makes it worthwhile to me because I mean if, if I didn't care about like spreading nail art like why stream why make YouTube videos why why any of that so what whatever I'm sharing if it's a, a fail aka a learning opportunity or whether it's something that's maybe not a fail, but it's just not something that I like as much as I thought I would, or it just is something that, you know, for for whatever reason, if there's somebody else, then it wasn't wasted. If it's somebody else's favorite, which I think pretty much every tutorial I've ever done, somebody has hated and somebody has loved. Like, two completely polar opposites every single video. Whether I love it or whether I hate it, there's going to be somebody out there that loves it and there's going to be somebody out there that hates it. Thank you guys, Amethyst, Mino, CJS, and Artie. I love, and, and part of it too is like, like I said, you're hardest on yourself. And sometimes when I'm being really hard on myself and somebody else can say, you know, I like that. I, it, it lets me like take a step back and be like, okay, let's, uh, let's be a little bit more realistic here. Does this suck? Or are you just being a nitpicking perfectionist? And most of the time, I'm being a nitpicking perfectionist. So we're going to 
we're gonna do I'm trying to remember what I said when I did the uh oh well we'll just we'll record this and if I'm repeating stuff I'm repeating stuff I'm just trying to remember if I said then I'll be doing covering them with snow with Janessa when I was talking about painting them with the uh or painting the branches on with with Troy I, yeah I have to it came with a thick manual and also came with a uh, downloadable manual or you you could go download it come on here camera come on there we go <clears throat> once the branches are all finished I'm gonna add a little bit of snow I've still got my plastic lid here and for the snow we're god where's the top okay let's try that again <clears throat> Once all your branches are done, we're going to be topping them with snow. I've got my same little plastic lid, and for the snow, I'm going to be using Janessa. I feel like that was a little bit awkward, but it's acceptable. All right, and for this same brush, I'm just going to be looking for that top horizontal part. And, and some even covering on top, like the, the little crook of the tree would have some snow on it. These little tops of the branches would have a little bit of snow and then it might trickle down a little bit less right there. And, and it doesn't have to be perfect because, I mean, look at snow. It comes down in flakes. It comes down in clumps. It looks different right after falling versus the next day. So this is another one where you can cut yourself a little bit of slack. And I'm trying to paint it right next to the branches rather than on top of them. Um, like on top of the color because I don't want the branch to start looking too skinny. So we're just going to continue that for all of them. And this is kind of the same as, like I was saying, going back and making the line a little thicker, like going right next to something that you already painted without either overlapping it or getting like a big gap in there that would look weird can be a little bit of a challenge. But I think this is, this is going pretty good. And I know sometimes I get quiet when I'm like, concentrate -y. so I hope you guys forgive me that but I'll be back with you in in just a minute and too when I'm when I'm recording sometimes I've had it happen to me where I like forget that I'm recording and streaming <laughs> so sometimes when I know I'm in a recording part it's like let's really concentrate on this so that we get a good take for the tutorial I kind of think I want to go a little bit like right there and then some more coming from here yeah and I think Janessa is so shiny on camera I mean it aside from like obviously we're trying to make it look like snow it's just such a pretty little highlight like you could do these colors and just do like some random geometric shapes and I feel like it would look just as cool as making it. In fact, maybe that might even look cooler. Maybe that's an idea for another manicure right there. Just do like some crisscrossing, interlocking geometric shapes and then do like a, like a highlight like this in like a high contrasty metallic color. We do have some some kind of geometric stuff coming up later in the series, but not not like that exactly. Um, I thought that stained glass, kind of an inspired look, would be very holiday appropriate. And so when I get to that, we're going to be using uh, some nail vinyls to create the stained glass look. 
I'm actually super, super looking forward to that one. Um, now this I've got myself kind of in a kind of in a pickle. I made that one so vertical it doesn't really lend itself to being snow covered very well. And if you if you do overlap in some places, that's fine. Like I said, snow is not you know sitting out there in perfect even little sheets. It's clumping and maybe maybe this snow's getting ready to fall off this little branch and go find another branch to fall on. We'll just get a little bit right there. Might stick. I think that's... I think we'll call that a finished painting. <laughs> I love Bob Ross, if you guys couldn't tell. I have literally... I remember as a kid, like, staying over at my grandparents' house, looking at the TV guide in the newspaper to find the Channel 2 schedule to find out when Joy of Painting would be on. So now to, like be able to access it so easily anybody that doesn't know there is a bob ross twitch channel it's not always live but you obviously can access the uh the vods at any time and when it is live the chat is just something else the chat is like it's ridiculous the people that are just in there like it's meme central number one you know what is the cabin chance Oh my God, Bob, please, please respond to my comment, Bob. You know, just like all this stuff and just like the people that are just so in love with this dude. Like, and the thing is, I bet if Bob Ross were still alive, man, I could see him being on Twitch. Heck yeah. Why not? Teaching, teaching more people to paint. That's what it's all about. Or just teaching people to enjoy art. Like, even if you never in your life picked up a paintbrush, I think you could enjoy watching other people do art or enjoy seeing finished art. Like, you don't have to be an artist to appreciate art, just like you don't have to be a musician to appreciate music. And very careful here, again, working on our offhand, or working with our, with our offhand. Carefully, carefully, very, very carefully. Sometimes it's a little bit hard too to make designs that look uh, balanced. That's the word. That's not even a hard word. Um, if if your nails are drastically different lengths, like between your hands, um. It's one of the reasons I do try to usually keep my nails pretty close to the same length. Um, but there are ways to deal with it. Like if I had had a drastic length difference between my two nails, I probably would not have chosen to uh, use the same sponge to do the gradients. Because if you have a, a shorter nail, then you should have smaller gradient sections. Um, to like tighten it down and, and shrink up the gradient so that it otherwise you just end up with less of the edge colors of gradient if you try to use the same uh, ratio of polish I guess I, I could call it oh we've got a little where'd that come from a little tiny probably kind of just see it on a corner <laughs> I see just a little spot here I must have knocked it on the corner and you can I mean you can go back and and touch up with any color whenever you want there's no no rules this is your world okay I'm gonna stop no I'm not I'm lying there will always be random Bob Ross or Bob Ross inspired quotes being dropped in this channel always Almost done here. Oops. Got a gap there. Gap just means that branch then just gets a thicker little layer of snow. 
then let's get you um, like that. And if you decide to branch, oops, did I mess it up? I didn't. I almost did. When I when I do this with my thumb, like to get it to go flat, you see how my other fingers are? It's very, very easy to accidentally touch them to the paper towel or to each other. I really should find a better way to position my thumb, but I try to just be very aware of it. When I was, uh, when I was editing the water marble that went up this past Sunday, I had a moment where I had to stop and laugh because I had forgotten that during the live stream, we had to do polish surgery on that pinky nail where I did just that. And I literally, I, I started recording to clean up and I had a big white spot where the base color was showing through because I had, I had banged it on the on the paper towel. I think I want just a little bit more right there. And I almost always like working flat on a table and working in front of a camera and working and trying to stay in the same position. I almost always will take and just give my nails a look from another couple angles to see like, how do I, how do, how does this look from another angle? Is there anything I want to touch up? when I look at it from this way, and I usually do find at least a couple things that I want to like touch up or just, you know, fix just a little bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Sorry, I'm off camera because it's just a little bit easier. And just fill in like that. I think we can do just a little bit right there. And actually, maybe we can just kind of sneak this like that. Alrighty. And then I'm going to let these, these final last minute things dry just a bit before top coat. Um, sesh feet is a quick dry. Sesh feet will hook you up. But if you are too, jump the gun too much, um, like with nail art like this, you can end up with smears because you've got various layers of polish that are at various stages of drying. Um, as opposed to like if you're just topping off a regular manicure um, and it's just a smooth coat. I mean, e even if there was a smear, you wouldn't see it because it's just one color. Whereas this, if you get the white or the, the dark purple smearing, it's going to go across the rest of the design. It's going to be probably very obvious. So, yeah, I like it. <clears throat> Your kid thinks he's a cat. Aw, that's so sweet though, Amethyst. I can just... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I, I, I kind of want to do snowflakes. I, I, I know what you're thinking, Mino. And, it, and it's another one of those things where I'm like stop I, I don't think it would wreck the manicure but this is what I had in my head it's the aftermath of the snowstorm not during the snowstorm because I think I think if I did too much more with like in fact let me let me notch in a couple zooms here um it, it could end up taking away from the gradient and then it's not quite as just like stark and I don't know if I want to call this clean because it's it's a, kind of a lot going I mean it's not a ton going on but it's kind of a lot going on yeah yeah and especially when he when he's got like the little animals and stuff amethyst and it's like well of course all the animals love him he's Bob um it's this little what does it say on here what are these Nicole diary gonna cooperate with me here camera if you if you look below my stream like in my profile and stuff there's a an amazon link to my nail polish essentials and the exact set is listed on there this this is the slightly more expensive set with these little pretty balls in the end 
And uh, I actually haven't used any of the brushes from the, the cheaper set that I got yet, but I, I like both of them. I think they're both... Why is this gone so blurry? Um, hello? There. Why did that... The, the webcam is not on autofocus. I don't know how the manual focus got off like that. Yeah, the, the temptation to add snow is so real. But this is... This is what I saw in my head when I was planning out this design. So I'm going to stick with this, despite... But Colette, consider this. Snowflakes, though. <laughs> oh... The one hand is square and one is round. I have I have heard other people do that like on purpose just to see the different stuff. I personally on myself I used to think I couldn't stand round nails and then I actually had my nails round for like a year. And I didn't hate it. But I didn't love it either. This this is really my preferred shape. Maybe a little bit more of a taper like a little bit more like like a shape in between squoval and ballerina is like my ideal shape and it, it's a little bit easier to do like that ballerina coffin taper when your nails get a little bit longer like even like right now they're getting a little bit like i used to be scared to file the sidewall at all that to shape them that direction but it really i think i do get a better nail shape when i do a little little side tapering fairy dust that would be so tempting too the hollow you and you know fairy dust is one of my favorite hollows i almost really for the contrast matted the background we, we never tested it because i decided not to go with it but i thought that a matte background with the metallic like branches and snow on the front would also be really cool mm. Want to go around the rest go around. Yeah. I mean, I just mine mine don't grow like this. I mean, I file them to shape them. And sometimes I can even tell that like the nail itself doesn't grow completely evenly. I think that's part of what leads to my nails that curve. It's like one you got one, you know, instead of just growing at the same pace, you got one that's slightly outgrowing the other, and it just starts leading to a curve. So usually, like at least once a week. In between manicures I try to do a little bit of maintenance filing to make sure that the square is still like a like a level square and not like a slightly uh turn it into an angled square well if it's angled it's not a square but <laughs> you know mm. yeah I do Fa fairy dust is one of my favorite hollow toppers and some people are like it's not that hollow like that's it's not supposed to be like cover the whole thing up and make it hollow it's like just add a little bit of hollow pizzazz to the to the manicure but this one we we will have hollow we we may no that one probably won't be hollow either i was gonna say we may go with one of the gold hollows for the uh the one we were testing on earlier but probably not the icicle reciprocal will have hollow in it um that is that is part of the original plan uh, uh, uh. Should I even bother excusing myself? I feel like I've been burping all stream. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. All right, let's uh Oh, you are you are a saggy boy, aren't you? There, that's better. You going to stay? <sighs> okay. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to look at new hot shoes though. I actually have one that is would be stable but it doesn't allow any tilt and I kind of I kind of like having the tilt just to, just to add it a little bit of an angle <clears throat> oh wait a minute wait wait just a minute we we're gonna do just a tiny bit of cleanup around the edges weren't we just like right around there any places where we got a little bit too enthusiastic with the branches So there's not too many spots that even need it. That's good. Oh no. I, I was thinking I had spots all over the place where it was messy, but it's really not. This one. Right here. 
in here. And I think that might be it. All right, now, now, oh, wait, here we go. Now we are ready for top coat. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on. There we go. <clears throat> Finally, um, blah, blah, blah. Finally, we'll be finishing off with a top coat, and as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. I also wonder, and I'm probably going to have to like do some kind of test if my preferred editing software is up to um, is up to 60 frames per second because if it's not that's going to be I think it is I think it should be fine I really need to make sure to double check that first though because I do have another editing option but I don't use it very often and I'm not super comfortable with it. I have uh, Adobe Premiere Elements. It just seems so much more complicated than Movie Maker. I love Movie Maker so much for the most part. I mean, there are things that it can't do that I wish it did, but I love how easy it is to use. Like everything is right at your fingertips. I have found it to be very intuitive, like the opposite of Premiere. Premiere is not, I don't find it naturally easy to use at all. It's like, you got to look up how to do every single little freaking thing, but it lets you have multiple audio tracks, lets you have multiple video tracks. So if you want to do, you know, like a picture in picture type of a thing, you can do that. Movie Maker, you cannot do that. Um, but Movie Maker is, is so easy. I mean, aside from the fact that it's what I'm most familiar with. I mean, I've been editing with it for years and years. Um, but I, I, at some points, I do feel like I may possibly be outgrowing it. Occasionally, if I want to do a picture in picture thing, if you've seen that in my videos, what as I, what I do is I take that clip, I add the picture in picture in Premiere and then I uh, export that and import that edited one into into Movie Maker, which is, I mean, kind of silly and a hassle, but it works. But I've always, I feel like it's inevitable that eventually I'm going to have to learn how to properly use Premiere. <clears throat> Amethyst, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing that. It wasn't that bad. I'm sure I could do better. <laughs> Like if I if I if I had some rip beer on hand, we for sure that that's nothing. This is still why do I feel like this is still not quite properly there focused because it wasn't. That's why. <laughs> okay, there and look how smooth that background gradient is now that we that we added the top coat and how the the snow just like. Like here, you can see it, but it's not as shiny. And then you get here and like the light hits it. I'm really pleased with this. Yeah. <laughs> Watching from the future. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so pleased with how this turned out, you guys. I really like it. Like it a lot. So... Okay, so like I said, it's it's 12 days of Christmas. This tutorial will be going up Sunday. From Sunday on, tutorials every day. So today we're on Wednesday. So we have a, a couple days of wiggle room, but we're going to be doing our nails, well, my nails, almost every single day. And we're going to be streaming almost every single day. And I'm going to be editing almost every single day. And I will be uploading every single day. So... <laughs> Um, th there's going to be lots of streams. Um, I've tried to update my, whatever that thing is called. It's right below the player. If you're on a uh, PC, it should show my scheduled times and your local time. If you're new, 
Uh, there's a link to my Discord. Um, further updates and a, a lot of the times, like S Saturday and Sunday are my firmly scheduled days. A lot of the times during the week, I do not get around to updating the thing that's below. Um, and I put updates on my Discord. My, my brain is just a little bit mush right now, so it's good that we're at the end of the stream. Uh, let's see if I can spy somewhere to send you lovely fine people. Um, see who's, who's still going here. This is, this is a very weird time for me to be ending stream. Usually, if I stream during the week and it's an afternoon stream, I feel like it doesn't really go this long. Or if I do an evening stream, um... I'm, I'm not starting until like eight or nine like sunday stream starts at six but it's because it's sunday like during the week and evening stream is probably not going to be until like eight or so um what do we got going on here i think awesome and amazing yeah awesome and amazing are similar are you filled with awe or are you amazed I you could be both it could be amazingly awesome or awesomely amazing um let's see are we I, I think I think Jerry's wrapping this up here I think we're gonna raid over to Jerry um ah well, there's, uh, you're thinking of awful Mino, but I always say it, there's like, again, we were talking about the spellings, like A-W-F-U-L, like awful bad, or awful like A-W-E-F-U-L, like full of awe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but overall... Like, like I said before, don't, don't ever, I, if anybody ever talks shit about somebody whose second language is not flawless, like, are you an idiot? You don't even have a second language. You don't get to talk shit about somebody who has a second language just because it's not perfect. They're speaking it better than you speak your own native language. Like l little mistakes like that, especially with words that are so similar or so, so minor. In, in my opinion, I think you do really well, Mino. And I really appreciate you hanging out. I know it's super late for you. Um, cause we were at midnight several hours ago. I'm going to raid us over to Jerry and, uh, for the raid message, it, it, it's related to the game. You can do a, a puff puff of some variety. So I'm going to, uh, wind down a little bit, clean up my area, have some dinner, get ready for tomorrow's stream. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out. And I hope I'll see you next time. <sighs> that is that.